When I was in high school, I wanted to be a software engineer, and now I got my start working at a software company. Computers and information technology are a vital part of everyday life. Cell phones, laptops, tablets, and even healthcare devices rely on software to perform life's essential tasks. I'm Nick. I'm an intern software engineer at GrowthZone. GrowthZone is a software development company located in Nisswa, Minnesota. Their software products are used by thousands of member-based associations in the U.S., Canada, and several other countries. GrowthZone offers the leading product for engaging membership groups and streamlining communication, sales, and record keeping. The simple way to describe what GrowthZone is, is that we're a technology or a software company. Um, but what we really are in the business of doing is trying to help communities. We're passionate about technology, we're passionate about software development, and we also tend to be passionate about you know, this area. We are people that like the outdoors, we like the lakes area, and we get to be able to be in a career area of technology that we love and do it in a place that we love, which is kind of the best of both worlds. Growth Zone is a member management program. It's a software as a service. So if a chamber of commerce needs uh, some sort of software to keep track of all of their members, they come to Growth Zone and Growth Zone provides that service through software. The hardest thing about my job is figuring out how Growth Zone works. It's a huge piece of software and just figuring out how the, all the different pieces go together. Usually I come in, check my emails in the morning, and then I start writing software. When I'm starting a project, I get a meeting, I get explained what the requirements are. Then from that, I go, I talk to one of the senior engineers, I figure out what would be the best way to tackle this problem, and then after that, I go and execute it, and then I have meetings again to see if it meets all of the requirements and it's implemented the correct way. Part of what got me into it is growing up, I always loved playing video games and I wanted to learn how they worked and that kind of got me into software. I was homeschooled until my uh, junior year of high school and then I started taking online classes and then doing PSEO at CLC. I graduated with my high school diploma and my AA degree from CLC. After I finished my AA, I went ahead and I took two years of mobile application development. I'm a problem solver who's also very curious and fully understanding the problem at hand. I'm um, going out and learning everything I can about the problem and then coming back and trying to find a solution to the problem. Growth Zone employs nearly 100 people and about half of those work in careers other than software engineering. Serving their customers also requires professionals in sales, quality assurance, accounting, marketing, and customer service. If you're going to be successful at Growth Zone, you have to have that service mentality. You have to be absolutely committed to trying to make the lives of our customers better. You have to be more focused on the needs of others than of yourself. Um, and that, that has to permeate through really everybody within our company. Here in Minnesota, there are over 30,000 jobs in software development and employment is projected to grow by 21% in the next 10 years. If you're looking to go into engineering and in coding, you also need to become excellent at problem solving, critical thinking, listening, working within teams. The software career ladder starts with user support specialists, then come junior software developers, Farther up the ladder are software engineers, senior engineers, and software architects. Technology is a very vibrant field to be in. Um, there's going to continue to be new opportunities. There are jobs that are going to be in high demand two years from now that don't even exist today. I got my start as a software engineer intern and I'm going to be a software engineer and someday a senior software engineer. Getting your start in a career in software development usually requires some formal training. Central Lakes College offers certificate and diploma programs in computer support and information technology at its Brainerd campus. You know, software development um, and coding um, and really programming is a, just a booming field right now. And if you are interested in software development, 
it'd be great if you could come into Central Lakes College and our computer support faculty would love to visit with you and give you a picture of what that looks like, what sorts of careers are available, and really what kind of educational plan you'd want to take to really achieve that, that goal of being a software developer. And I'm really certain you'll be glad that you did. If you're doing a two-year program, try to do an internship over the summer as well so that you get actual hands-on experience and, and then that might also allow you and, and the employer that you're interning with to have conversations and, and help point you into a path that's going to allow you to take that next step. Anywhere you look there's a need for software engineers. It's a job that has a credibly high demand. As a high school student, it is important to start preparing now for your future career. Ask your school counselor about courses and other opportunities that will help you learn more about careers in software development. Choosing a career and educational path after high school is one of the most important decisions you can make. In a time of life when there are more questions than answers, the Bridges Career Academies and Workplace Connection provides information about education and career pathways and gives you the tools you need to make a smart choice, one that's right for you and right for your future. To learn more, visit bridgesconnection.org.